Scorpio, October is your choice and it's your outcome. You literally are going to have things popping all around you after a major transformation and you're going to make a decision that is going to change your life, but only if you choose. Let's take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Scorpio because October is a really big month. Not only are some of you celebrating your birthday as you go into the latter part of October, but we have the new moon coming in on October 2nd, and that is leading this pathway for Scorpio to, to really take all of that transformation energy, all of the ascension processes that you've gone through, the, the transition. It is the big transition. And it's not an easy thing for any zodiac sign, but when we're looking at Scorpio, you pick that zodiac sign. You planned out your life before you were born. And this is what you were guided to do during your life, every single little event. So when you go through your ascension process, Scorpio, and your transformation, which you are the king, you are the queen of transformation. And that's what you represent is the big change. But in order to make that change, we have to let go of the past. And that's where it can be quite challenging for anyone who's stuck in the old energy. But you have something coming in that is going to be great. And it is truly going to be what you really want. Now, the card that came out for you is the Two of Wands. And that is making a choice in one direction or the other. Are you going to stay in, in the embodiment that you have been in for your life or are you going to go into a new direction now i do see that some of you scorpios you beautiful beautiful energy you have done some changes you have grown but i see a lot of you have stopped in your ascension process why most likely because it's a really hard thing to go through and it's something that is necessary in order to make the completion and there is another group of you who have done remarkably well. You've overcome the challenges that you were faced. You see, when we pick that zodiac sign, whatever it is, the meaning behind it, every aspect of it has to do with how we play our life out. Because each event, each person, each situation leads us to today, right now at this point. And October is that big point. Point where we have gone through other parts of this journey and now this is the big shift. For those of you that have already jumped into the new timeline, things are really going to start going well for you. I mean really well. I'm seeing all of these things fall down and it's not it's not icky stuff. It's not like rocks falling on your head. It's more like a, a rose falls down, representing love, representing romance and beauty. I'm seeing different things fall down, including clear crystals, okay? Including, oh, and I am seeing the black stone as well, which it looks like it's um, black obsidian. That's what it looks like. So for those of you who are new, I hear the messages. I see the visions that go with it and then and the words come through me because I work with my guides and I work with my higher self as well, which you guys are getting ready to do because that's where you're going. That's where you're heading. And when you have this, your intuition is going to be off the charts. Not that it isn't good already. It is. And you know it is. But as you continue to go further, you're going to want to use your intuition. You have people going to come back into your life and they're telling me these people are going to force you to make the choice. Now this is a new deck because we're really moving into a new direction. So you're gonna see different things as we go forward. The covers on, my, on, on these uh, videos will look similar so you'll recognize me. But the backgrounds may be different as I go through changes, as I make changes in my life, going in different directions, just like all of you. So we're all going together as a soul community, and I'm so happy 
so happy that some of you are deciding to go into a new direction. This is a circle of completion representing the empowerment, the feminine empowerment, because the divine masculine has been kind of running the show for a lot of us for a really long time. And now that feminine energy had to fight its way through your spiritual transformation so you could balance it out and connect to the divine. The divine is you. You have the power to make the choice that's right for you. And I feel that a lot of you are going to, I'm actually seeing like this massive group of Scorpios, which surprised me when I looked, but there's a large group of you saying, I am not, mm -mm, I ain't doing this. Now let's go a little bit deeper. We're going to look at, at your uh, career, finances, hobbies, projects, whatever comes in, in your base foundation. Your foundation is, is that main part of what keeps you going in all different directions. We're going to look at family and friends and tap into a little bit of romance. But before we go there, I want to just kind of tap in. And I'm being guided to tell you, you've done a remarkable job. Really, each and every Scorpio watching this has done a remarkable job as far as mastering different levels of your ascension process. But again, there's a large group of you going even further. That's when the good things start happening. It's that push when we don't want to do something, when we want to stop this awful thing that we've been going through, and we cut it off. And some people do. They don't go the whole way. They will not go the whole way. They will not. They will go backwards. But that's what the beauty is in this reading. A lot of you are not. Leave a comment. Are you going forward or are you going to stay where you've been, right? Have you made those changes? Have you been seeing the dreams? Because when it comes to this next section of career project, your foundation, I'm seeing that there are dreams that have been emerging in Scorpio. It can be daydreams, but I feel a lot of it is the nighttime dreams where you're waking up and saying, wow, <laughs> what was that? Make sure you write those dreams down. And if you want to work with me, please do so. But my readings are going to be closed on September 30th. And um, we'll be focusing on the existing clients for a while. So this is a really remarkable time for you. because Oh, look at this. You got, you got the Six of Cups. Happy fond memories of the past. People celebrating you. Celebrating your own growth the direction that you're choosing to go. And this is what I said I was seeing, this very powerful energy when it comes to your foundation. For some of you, this is going to pertain a lot to romance, and we'll get to that in a minute. But it's really about the love of what you do, all right? Love is love. Love is love. Whether we put that love into a person or we put it into a project that we give to humanity for free, like I'm doing, it can be a paid job. It can be whatever it is that you love. That's what I feel is going on with you where you're opening up your heart when it comes to allowing abundance, allowing prosperity. Now let's go a little bit deeper because I see some of you have been stuck when it comes to career endeavors. Now you are a little bit stubborn, okay? We're just gonna put it mild. Scorpios are a little bit stubborn. There's those four major zodiac signs. You you allow things to flow naturally is what I just heard. Allow it to come in. If you're pushing too hard, maybe taking trying to trying to be controlling of the situation when it comes to your career, it's going to backfire on you. So I am seeing that some of you are let, are letting go of what's going on in that particular area of your life. It doesn't mean you stand by idly and let somebody hurt you or your boss, you know, degrade you or humiliate you or ignore you. It doesn't mean that. It means that allowing the things to come through and making sure that it makes sense. Kind of like somebody doing research on going to a trip, say you're going to Europe and you look up all the background, you know where you want to go, you have the main points. But when you get there, you kind of let things flow rather than to line it all up and take control of everything. And, and, and that's gone. You're, you're letting go of that. And when you let go of that, that's going to switch whatever you're doing. But I am seeing some of you are learning 
different versions of what you already know. So this may be increasing your AI uh, information, your studies, your habits. Um, they're saying, I'm seeing like additional education. So this could be like three units, taking a course that's three units and adding that into your degree. Some of you, these will be courses that you're taking where you're actually going to get something in return. If you're worried about paying for courses, check out Coursera. Coursera is a wonderful way to increase your knowledge, your wisdom, and a lot of it is free. You can even do Google and they will teach you how to do coding and things like that. And it's still at, um, well, it's not completely free. If you can do it in, the, in a few days, it'll be free but it's very, very affordable. I'm talking like 40, 50 bucks. It's not a lot of money. And you can learn to switch your career. Now I am seeing interior design. So if you're in that industry, check that out. You may find something on there. Psychology is on there, all kinds of things. For those of you who are devoting your time, you may be retired, you may be a stay at home parent or just not working right now. There are habit, hobbies, hobbies, I was going to say habits. There are hobbies that they want you to focus on. And those hobbies, you're going to be able, some of you are turning them into a way that's going to help humanity. It's like that beautiful dream of creativity is going to help you tweak it just enough. Whether it is a paid job, a volunteer position, and absolutely free, you're donating your time to help humanity. This is like a new endeavor for those of you who are looking for that project. There's no actual direct spiritual or religious basis to it. It just looks like a very big group of people. And I do see some of you standing up and talking to them. Whatever it is, you're going to do really well. And when it comes to your finances, especially finance investing they're saying investing when it comes to investing pay attention to your intuition it doesn't do you wrong your intuition guides you very well and you can read people probably better than any zodiac sign oftentimes you're so good at it but yet i see there's a problem when it comes to doing it for yourself so this is that time to do it for yourself with an open heart but yet protecting yourself so no one else can come in and, and trample on you when you are in that space of openness with the divine. So when it comes to your fun, yeah, you have the chariot. I mean, come on, this is beautiful energy. And this is an old deck and it really represents the empowerment within you. The divine feminine is bursting out inside of you to create the balance. That's what you've been trying to master, right? The dark and the light, mastering yourself. So you get this forward movement, this change is coming through. And this is a really positive card when it comes to your overall foundation, okay, your foundation. Now let's look at your family and friends because a lot of you I feel, um, I'm hearing the word tremors, okay? So I feel some of you may have been through some really, really terrible situation where you were trembling or the other people were. This may have even turned into something quite ugly in the past and it's taken you quite a while to recover over it. You may have been involved in a narcissistic, abusive situation in some level where somebody was doing something that was unnerving, okay? And, and that's why I say like tremors. Now make sure you are taking care of your health uh, it is important right now as we go forward every single day, you've got to take care of your health. And it's time to look good, feel good, and move forward in all areas, including this sector. So if this person is still around you, that again is the two of wands, where you need to make a choice on how you're going to handle this situation. Whoever this person is, I am seeing a woman. That's the example that they're showing me. Obviously, you'll have to fit in the pieces, but this is what it is. 
This person is a dominating, overpowering individual who has a very loud tone, very loud. They may interrupt a lot. They may not let you finish your sentence. Very dominating. And it's like their claws are coming down on you, Scorpio. This could have been your mother, this or a sister, this may have been your best friend, and we're gonna look at romance, so don't rule that out. For some of you, it's not even you, it's your partner that you're watching go through this, or best friend or the neighbor down the street. But it has everything to do with you as you go through this. The new moon represents new, a new timeline, a new energy shift, a new you, everything about you. You get to make the choice on where you're going with this family situation. But I will say that what they're showing me in this representation for you, and let me know if that's you, put it in the comment. You've got to take action. This is a month of action. It is a month of action, no doubt about it. The time is going so fast that if you do not act now, then that will lessen your chance in the future when you're trying to grow and expand and bring in abundance and prosperity and feel good in life for overall in general, but also bring back your vitality, right? Whoever this person is, they drained you. They drained you maybe financially, definitely emotionally and mentally, but you have overcome this. So they're going to be coming back. All right. That's what I'm seeing. I'm going to tell you the truth. And we aren't even, you know, we just did Mercury in retrograde in August, but this is what it feels like right now. So you may have had dreams of them or an initial phone call or some type of communication, even a hint of it was started then, maybe a text message. But this is the month right now where I see they come in. There's a lot of people going to need help. And so they're going to reach out even if they harm someone else. They're going to come in and try and smooth talk you. And we know you're really good at reading people. So pay very close attention. You have the star card. It may be an Aquarian that you're dealing with. But what this is saying is you are the star of your own show. You are your biggest cheerleader. You don't need anybody who is going to treat you that way. Nor do you treat anyone that way. At least not at this point in time. This is a... A, a very powerful card when we're looking at the star card especially with this new moon the stars surrounding the moon is representation the twinkling the twinkle in the eye the twinkle in the touch the the enlightenment the ideas the creativity it's like the stars are coming like this is what i'm seeing and they're twinkling as they do it and it's surrounding Scorpio. So it's a really beautiful message. The star card comes in after you've mastered the light and the dark, after you've balanced things out. This is the big reward. This is the big wish being granted after we've completed this major cycle and we've done a good job. Not turning backwards and not going back to the people that hurt you. So when it comes to family and friends, Again, that two of wands, you have a choice to make and only you're going to make that choice. So your message, again, your choice is your outcome. So think very carefully when they come in, make sure you test the waters. It doesn't mean you don't talk to them, um, but I definitely see somebody around you is going to try and make a new entry, whether it's a man or a woman, male, female, it doesn't matter. Now, when it comes to romance, Scorpio, I do feel that some of you are dealing with a person who is um, not, you guys aren't on the same page. If you're in a relationship, I'm seeing a divide between the two of you. And it may have grown over the last two years where it got more intense and less conversation and less doing things together and no intimacy whatsoever, no physical affection whatsoever where you've kind of withdrawn, but through that experience, you have grown, which is why you got the star card. So this may be your romantic situation blended with your family. You're going to know the truth on that. You have the eight of cups and the eight of cups. Well, hey, you know, I mean, this is walking towards what you really want. You're going to go get what you want. That eight of cups, each cup, 
I love this. I love this. And this card represents it. Look at the card. Each of the cups in the Eight of Cups has something in it. This is an offering for you. This is yours. Which one do, which choice do you want? Your, it's your choice. So make sure you pick wisely when it comes to your partner. I do feel there's a beautiful blend and harmonic balance coming in for some of our, our Scorpios where you and your partner are going to start communicating a little bit different. There may be an ending. There's, there may be a loss in the family. An elderly person uh, may be leaving us in this earthly form, and yet their spirit is still going to be around you. Let us know if this has already happened, where you could feel their energy around you, even though they're no longer here in that physical body. I see somebody is visiting you and, and it it's enlightening. It's really impacting Scorpio where you are understanding. Now I know why I chose Scorpio. Now I know why I chose all these life experiences. Uh, if you haven't experienced it, this is coming in the month of October. Now the new moon again represents new beginnings and some of you are going to meet someone new and it's going to be really, really exciting. So not only do you have this eight of cups for romance, you have this beautiful energy of walking towards something brand new that is so fulfilling. This is an ending of a relationship for some of you and you're going to meet somebody brand new and it is going to be wonderful. You have the four of cups. Okay. So there's a lot of cups, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of uh, balance coming into you in this month. And I feel for some of you, you're going to feel it definitely closer to your birthday. Uh, right around that third week is what it looks like to me. Happy birthday to you, Scorpio. But there is this powerful presence who, when they, when they meet you, when you meet each other, when you see each other, it's going to be bells and whistles. You know what I mean? It's going to be really exciting for you guys. And it'll be the one that you will probably choose to be with. Your choice is the month of October. So you have a lot going on, a lot of different choices. Now, I am here with my guides and my guides are saying... Hang on tight, Scorpio, because there is something new on the horizon. This is what you've been trying to get. You've been working at it. We've watched you working at it for years, for decades. The length of time is immaterial because time has no value as far as man-made time. It flows, and we flow with you. We flow together as a unit. It is time for you to... Tap into your mind, body, and soul. And remember the divine is in you. You are the divine. We guide you. And when you listen, it works. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's what they said. It just sounded funny when it came out of me. But um, they are guiding you in the direction. So call upon your guides if you need help getting back in alignment. Because what's coming between the work environment, the family structure that I'm talking about, and it could be romance, but this change is going to feel like a test, but yet it's really not because you're going to sit back and go, oh, I got it. And if you forget, or if you feel a little jittery, call into the divine, call in your higher self, call in Archangel Michael or your guides and guardians. You can even call upon mine. And her name is Allie. So I hope you guys have a wonderful month. Much love.